views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Welcome to Angel Healing House Radio. My name is Claire Candy Hoff. Through my business, Angel Healing House, which can be found at angelhealinghouse.com. I'm a writer and an author, an international radio host, a Reiki master teacher, and an angel practitioner. My inspirational books entitled Angels of Faith and One True Home Behind the Veil of Forgetfulness and my autobiography, I Am an Angelic Walk-In, are based on my recollections of our life in spirit, and they help us to remember our divine, eternal natures. Through Angel Healing House, I help people to let go of sadness, anger, bitterness, resentment, and regret that has kept them locked in the prison of the past, and I help them to let go of worry, stress, and control which has kept them focused on an imagined future. And once they are no longer living in the past or the future, they can start to live in the present moment, which is the only place that they can experience synchronicities, miracles, and magic. As an angel practitioner, I help people to see their lives from a higher perspective with the help of an extraordinary group of angels who call themselves the Posse of Angels. Just like my angelic family, the Posse of Angels, I'm very excited to take some of your calls for that free angel advice. You can call into the show on 1-800-930-2819. And before we take some of those calls... Welcome, everyone, to Angel Healing House Radio on my new home of Transformation Talk Radio, and which is weekly, uh, Tuesdays at 9 a.m., and that's uh, Pacific Standard Time. And there's just a reminder to start today's show that each month, myself and my angelic family, the Posse of Angels, sends out a monthly newsletter that looks at the world from an angel's perspective. Now, this newsletter brings forth an angelic message on a monthly topic that shares great insights on how to live life with clarity, passion, and joy. If you would like to receive this inspirational and enlightening monthly newsletter, please send me your request along with your email address to candy, and that's C-A-N-D-Y at angel healinghouse.com. Now, to recap on the theme for the topic of this year, the themes for January um, for the Angel Healing House radio program, those shows were all about inspiration and motivation for our fresh starts and new beginnings for 2017. And the theme for February, those topics were about love, relationships, and forgiveness. And with this being the first show of March, the Posse of Angels has chosen the theme of Manifestation and Miracles. Now, if you missed any of the previous shows, remember that they're all archived on my Angel Healing House Radio host page. All you got to do is go there and look at the archive shows, and they're all there in order. Now, if you're a regular listener, you know that I like to take about 20 minutes or so to speak about the topic of today. And this topic, the Posse of Angels has entitled, The Recipe for the Fulfillment of Your Dreams. And that is a great topic for March, uh, which we're going to be speaking about manifestation and miracles. Now, this week, the Posse of Angels likened themselves to a store which is undergoing a stock take, which is a little bit bizarre, but they explained to me 
that they're taking an overview of where much of the collective now finds itself. They told me that there are certain points in our lives at which we are given periodic reviews, which look at our progress as an enlightened human species. And rather than writing a grade at the top of our review of either a pass or a fail or a comment like, you could do better or you're not trying hard enough, they always choose to put their emphasis on how far we've come and how much we've achieved. <laughs> they are laughing and saying that they did not get to be angels by shining their heavenly light on people's faults, but rather on their successes and how much they are trying. These things are certainly an angelic qualities to be sure. They are saying that their recent stock take has revealed some monumental advances and breakthroughs that were not present one year ago at their last stock take. The Posse of Angels is applauding us and they're saying that we as a collective consciousness have finally shown God and the angels just how important the fulfillment of our desires is to us and what we will do to achieve them. Because, as they've stated before, it really is no good pleading and begging and crying and screaming at the angels to fulfill our dreams if we do not make any movement towards that which we desire. You know, the Posse of Angels has often shown me a vision of a still pond of water. And they tell me that it's not until we throw a pebble into the pond that it creates ripples of movement going out in the direction that we wish to go. It is this self-made movement that brings back to us similar opportunities and connections to further our path in our desired direction. This is because it is we that have free will and must first make the decision on what we desire and then take that first step. The angels cannot decide what that first step will be, nor can they take that first very important step for us. You know, I had a client who came to me uh, years ago as she was suffering severe depression Suzanne, now this is not her real name, but let's call her Suzanne, told me about her childhood in which she grew up on a farm in Australia. With her great love of horses and for looking after them on her family's property, she dreamed of becoming a vet. She told me that she and her twin brother were very competitive and both received high marks throughout their schooling. You know, when it came time for them both to go to university, her parents paid for her brother, yet they told Suzanne that she just needed to get a job because eventually she was just going to get married and have children, not being able to fulfill her dream of becoming a vet. After she completed high school, she went from job to unsatisfying job. And along the way, she had several unsuccessful, unsatisfying relationships. Because of the despair within her, she started to manifest a life of despair outside of her, which showed up in, um, in her career, in her jobs, and also her relationships. You know, when I asked her if she was doing anything in her spare time to help animals and to be involved with them, she said no. The posse of angels then suggested to her that just because she'd never became a vet, it didn't mean that she must deny her joy of being around animals. And they suggested that she volunteer at her local RSPCA. And uh, that is the ASPCA here in America. It was several weeks later that this client phoned me and told me about the miracle that had happened in her life. She said that she decided to take the posse of angels up on their suggestion and went down to her local RSPCA to volunteer. When she arrived, she walked into the reception area and 
She saw that the secretary was on the phone and she waited for her. Looking around the room, her eye was drawn to a fluorescent green notice on the pinup board and it read, position at local farm for a seasoned horse handler. Room and board included with wage. For more information and to apply for this position, please call this number. As Suzanne read the note, she received a series of shivers and decided to call the number and set up an interview with the owners of the property. When she stepped into their home to be interviewed for the position, she recognized the couple who had previously owned an adjacent property to her family's farm where Suzanne had grown up. When the couple saw that it was Suzanne, they had already seen her love, her proficiency, and her expertise in handling horses, and they immediately offered her the job. In Suzanne's case, once she dropped her restricted attachment to only being able to help animals by becoming a vet, and she took inspired action to be around animals and do what she loved doing, God and the angels arranged an answer to the fulfillment of her dreams. All she needed to do was to put her focus on what she loved doing and show the universe that she was committed to making her dream of helping animals a reality. Now, the Posse of Angels is saying that this is the first ingredient for the recipe to fulfill a desire or a dream. It's the step of commitment and love. The more you're committed to the time, the effort, the focus and the energy towards the fulfillment of your desires, then like a well-tended garden, which brings forth plentiful fruits and vegetables and flowers, your efforts towards the fulfillment of your desire must also yield equal amounts of results for you. Now that they've spoken about commitment towards fulfilling our desires, the Posse of Angels wishes to talk about what would you give up for your desire in order for your desire to come true? Okay, now they're hearing crickets. Some of you may be thinking, nobody said I have to give up something in order to achieve my dream. Well, I'll give you two examples of how when I gave up something, I was able to achieve a small desire of mine. And the next example was giving up something very large in order for a very large dream to come true. Several years ago, I was carrying around 20 excess pounds, and I decided to get very serious about achieving my desire to shed the extra weight. Firstly, I decided to totally give up wheat and sugar. The wheat made me bloat, and the sugar, no matter what form it came in, made my blood insulin levels spike. And secondly, I decided to give up an hour of sleep in the morning and exercise. Well, I not only achieved my goal, but the added benefits of giving these things up have been improved circulation, more energy, and a pride in my dedication to achieve this small but important desire. And while this small desire, and while this was a small desire, I've also experienced what it means to give up something that you absolutely cherish and adore in order to fulfill a life's dream. Listeners, after marrying my beloved twin flame, Pete, in 2003, I moved into his incredible feng shui-designed beachfront home along the Sunshine Coast in Australia. The home was filled with light, and it had a huge atrium in the middle of the home filled with bamboo and a fountain to bring in the flow of wonderful chi energy. Having moved from the Gold Coast to the Sunshine Coast when we married, I relocated my Reiki practice and built up a huge following of clients with lots of referrals and students learning Reiki. I held meditation nights several times a month and networking groups for healing practitioners. From 2003 to 2006, I channeled books, I wrote articles for magazines, and I'd manifested my cherished husband, an extraordinary home, my beautiful business angel healing house, and lots of devoted clients, students, and colleagues. 
Yet it was on a trip to the States in 2006 that I was standing on the beach in Carmel, California, when the voice of God said to me, when you move to the States, this is the area you need to come to first. I turned to Pete and I told him what God had just said to me. And Pete replied, but we're not moving to the States. And when we returned to our beautiful home, I began to experience a feeling of hyperventilating. And I felt this great urgency to make movement to move. When I asked the posse of angels what the heck was going on as we had such a beautiful life there, they showed me a vision of a cap and gown and told me that both Pete and myself had graduated and that the next step for us to realize our projects, our books, our movies, our careers would only be possible by moving to the States. They then said that we would need to sell our beach home to fulfill this dream. But they also told us not to worry because we would eventually get to buy an even more remarkable beach home. It was very difficult for Pete to agree to sell his precious home. And it was very difficult for me to leave all that I'd built up. But the angel said to Pete, how much are you willing to give up to realize your dream of working in the film industry? Following the voice of the divine, by listening to our heart's desires, we said goodbye to the incredibly su successful business following that I'd built up. We said goodbye to our home, our beautiful, beloved home. And actually, the sale of that home paid our rent for several years as we reestablished ourselves in the States um, before meeting those connections and contacts that would open up doors for us. Pete and I are so used to listening to the voice of God speaking through our hearts and seeing the miracles that have come from it that we, we can't imagine living any other way. But there have been some family and friends who have some very different views on the choices that we've made. In fact, when we were sitting at the airport ready to depart to the States in 2007, one of Pete's brothers said to him, so you both have jobs to go to in California. And Pete said, no. His brother then said, you know, people and have connections in California. And Pete said, no. His brother then said, well, Candy's family is in the States. And Pete said, well, they are, but they're on the East Coast and we will be living in California. He had a very perplexed look on his face. And he said to Pete, are you sure you are doing the right thing? And Pete said, without a doubt, yes. Since being in the States, as I said, we've met and made invaluable contacts and connections that have helped our dreams come true. Now, to recap, the first ingredient in the recipe for the fulfillment of your desires is that we must demonstrate commitment and love for our dreams by making movement towards them. And secondly, we must be willing to let go of those things that have become too small for us in order to grow into the fulfillment of our desires. And, you know, listeners, even though we've added these two very important ingredients to our recipe, if we do not have the third ingredient, the recipe will never be a success. And a lot of people do not even consider this third one. Once you've committed, once you've made movement forward, what could possibly stop oneself from ever realizing their dream is by not allowing themselves to fully accept the rewards. Now, that sounds weird, doesn't it? But just because you've arrived at the precipice of the gates of your desires, it does not mean that you'll allow yourself to open those gates and accept what you've worked so hard for. You know, many people hesitate to step any further because they worry how they're going to cope with the possibilities that will come with their fulfilled dream. Now, take, for instance, perhaps stepping into your dream will mean being thrust out into the public eye when you have lived a relatively quiet life. You know, to dream about being booked for speaking engagements and a national book tour from the comfort of your home is very different from adhering to schedules, airline ticket bookings, and endless nights in different hotels. You know, maybe you will hesitate to step forward 
and open those gates to your desires because it might mean that you will be seen as an authority in your field. And as such, you'll be given greater responsibility and you will be very much in demand. If you're standing before those gates of your desires and you're hesitating about whether to step forward or not, maybe your intentions for the achievement of this dream was not 100% clear. And while it was great to pursue the dream, the goal of achieving might scare the heck out of you. Maybe you're hesitating because you've built up the expectation of the fulfillment of your desires so much that you might be feeling let down as it is not all that, it, that you thought it would be. For instance, the Posse of Angels is saying that if one has not already experienced peace in their hearts, love of self, happiness, joy, forgiveness, gratitude, and appreciation before the realization of any dream, then it's highly unlikely that by walking through those gates of fulfillment that one would be a changed person. There will still be issues to be brought back into harmony and balance, even with the fulfillment of one's dreams. So the Posse of Angels wishes for all of us to take a very good look to go over the ingredients for the recipe to fulfill our desires, and if our intentions in our hearts are all for the most beneficial of reasons, then we will have no difficulty stepping forward when the magical opportunities present themselves for those gates to open for us. You are listening to me, Claire Candy Hoff, on Angel Healing House Radio, on its new home, of Transformation Talk Radio, which can be heard weekly every Tuesday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So let's go to some of our callers and see who would like some insights and messages from myself and the Posse of Angels. That first caller, let's go to Beth. Beth, you're on the line with myself and the Posse of Angels. Can you hear me? Oh. Yes, I can. Hello, how are you? Good. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, too. And uh, and have you found that you're cooking a wonderful recipe for the fulfillment of your desires? Yes, I've been stirring the pot for several years. And one of the things that I wanted to ask is it is that um, are those uh, is has all the work get, is, has, is it getting ready to pay off? And one of the questions is, is that. One of the things that we wanted to create for ourselves and manifest is a second home in Maui. And I just wanted to know if that's seen in the cards in the next 12 months, you know, to see if that is possible. Okay. All right. Well, while I was, uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, um, the first thing that they're saying to me is that, uh, that God has a very long memory. <laughs> and um, every time you were asked to do something, um, even though it was difficult, even though it went against perhaps family and friends, uh, you know, their notion of what the heck you were doing, um, even though it was against the conventional, you still stepped forward and you listened to the divine in your heart. Um, and for being so diligent and being so um, honoring to being of service and stepping forward. This is one of the rewards which you will definitely be seeing. Um, and uh, the more that you visualize it, the more that you imagine it, the more that you eat, sleep, and breathe it, it must come into manifestation. And they're saying that, yes, this year you will see um, movement towards that. In fact, uh, you, they're saying that you're going to take a trip to Hawaii this coming year. And it's on that trip that, um, there will be, um, signs that will be shown to you to start looking around, um, to, you know, you will be led to those places that your new home will be. So let's go to the cards and see what comes out. Oh, it's it's a beautiful place. The views are stunning and the energies are extraordinary. So they're tipping their hat to you, Beth, and they're saying thank you. Thank you for all the work you've done for the light. 
and they know it was very difficult a lot of those times, but you still did it. So the first card for you is the movement card. There you go, is the moving card. It's the Knight of Wands. <laughs> that's, the, that's, not only the, that's not only the moving card, but that's the travel card. And then the, the second card for you is the, ten, is the Ten of Swords. Now, this is a very disconcerting uh, card as it shows swords that are, that are um, uh, poked into a person. But they're showing me that it's a, it's a brand new beginning for you when you take this trip. And the horizon, there's only blue skies on the horizon and there's only... Um, you know, there's only your dreams that are on the horizon. So keep looking towards the horizon. Release all fear. Release all fear of uh, um, of you thinking that this is not going to happen. Because up until now, so many of us, uh, particularly myself as a Libran, it, Librans have had such a hard road to toe, as all of the cardinal signs have for the past 10 years. Um, the next card that comes out for you is the Empress. And this is the card of fertility, the birthing of your dreams. This is the card of bringing forth your creative vision into physical manifestation. So, uh, Beth, you have nothing to worry about. Uh, uh, it's just it's just sunshine, lollipop, and roses that they're saying, um, and it's it's it will be even grander than you possibly could imagine. Uh, the rewards that are coming to you for your diligence and your and your love for the light. So I hope that's been helpful for you. Wow. Amazing! I can feel it. <laughs> <It's> exciting. <laughs> and uh, and uh, and maybe I'll come over and visit. That would be lovely. You're always <laughs> welcome. Thank you so much. That was wonderful. I could actually yeah. feel the energy of it. It filled me up with so much joy and my, and brought tears to my eyes. Thank you so much. To mine, too. God bless you. Love you so much and have an absolutely beautiful day. You Take too. care. You, too. Thank you so much, sweetie. Love you. Bye-bye. And when, and when we come back after this break, We'll be taking more callers for those mini angel readings and those heaven-sent channel insights from myself and the posse of angels. So we'll see you on the flip side of this break. Take your own journey with the angels with Claire Candy Huff's heaven-sent guided angel meditation CD. Letting go of concerns and living in the now. This beautiful CD walks listeners through practical exercises to help free them from the burdens, worries, and concerns of daily life. Walking a quarter of the way across the bridge, you see a bright emerald green light and sense a loving presence. This is Archangel Raphael's green healing energies, nourishing and revitalizing you. Take a moment now to bathe in this green healing light. Giving you much more than just relaxation and stress release, this wonderfully narrated CD provides vivid visualization, soothing and inspiring music, and an angel's choir that will bring you peace, clarity, and a newfound awareness. Visit angelhealinghouse.com today. To see your life from an angel's perspective, book a personal consultation with Claire Candy Hoff. Angelic Walk-In Angel Ariel at Angel Healing House. Candy provides intuitive counseling, Reiki, and angel readings in person in Los Angeles or nationally and internationally via phone or Skype. She will channel the practical tools you need to transform your life. Call now, 831-277-3716 or visit angelhealinghouse.com. everybody and welcome back you are listening to me claire candy hoff on angel healing house radio on its brand new home of transformation talk radio and angel healing house radio can be heard every week every tuesday at 9 a.m 
Pacific Standard Time. And uh, just a reminder, um, if you've missed any of the Angel Healing House radio programs, please go to my host page on the Transformational Talk radio site and uh, go to the archived and push that uh, click on that, and all of those shows are archived on that on my host page. All right, let's go to our next caller. Um, our next caller is David, and uh, welcome, David, to the program, to myself and the Posse of Angels Insights, and how are you today? Good. Thank you for having me. And uh, have you found that you're cooking or baking up a wonderful recipe for the fulfillment of your dreams? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I'm always of course. baking. <laughs> What's the main ingredient? I'm always baking and stirring. <laughs> oh, baking and stirring. What's the, yeah, stirring, <laughs> yes, but I don't know about baking. <laughs> stirring up I, people. I make, a, uh, I make a mean homemade pasta sauce. All right. Well, I have yet to uh, taste that, so uh, so I will reserve my judgment <laughs> for it. <laughs> so good. so so tell me, besides love, what is the uh, what is the is the main ingredient for the recipe for your desires? This this center that I'm that I'm building from the bottom up is is what's coming forward. And what's interesting about that process is I'm getting more speaking gigs and the places that I'm going to are looking for a spiritual leader. <laughs> so it's like, I feel like it's right in sync. Like in, and, and then I also met, met someone that I really feels right for me and good. It really feels great. So that's good too. So yeah, yeah just a lot of stuff that I've, that I've been working on and starting to really feel like, like your last caller, I believe her name is Beth. Kind of in the same boat. It just feels like I, I'm ready. I feel like my empire is ready. <laughs> like it is. It, it, yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's a great, a great way to describe it because, and it does, it does seem surreal because for so long, uh, those of us who have followed our intuition, we've left jobs um, that were not honoring to us. We've left relationships. A lot of us have had financial difficulties, and and no matter what, we have he- we have followed being of service to the light, and and maybe it paid off a little bit, but not in the way that uh, that we really wanted it to, or desired it to. And now there are so many things that are just coming together to form the fulfillment of our dream. And it all we need to do is sit back and watch it unfold. And it's absolutely miraculous what's happening for many of us now. And I'm not surprised that you're getting more speaking gigs because, um, you know, you, you're being, um, and I'm feeling that you're being thrust out into the public to step into that role as that spiritual leader um, and uh, and be seen as an authority in your field, which then gives you more credence for people to fund and contribute this uh, beautiful center of yours. Um, um, They're saying, don't worry where the center will be. I mean, it even might go through several different stages, meaning that, you know, it might start off in a rented room somewhere. Um, it might start off, right. you know, in a hired hall somewhere. And then it won't take it long for it to grow and expand. Um, and uh, and for the love, the, you know, the, they're showing me that the love inside of this like hired hall or rented space will get too big for it, that it will need a permanent home. Um, and... Uh, and they're saying it was gifted to you because you're a very special person. They, yeah. they well, you know, it's, it, <laughs> it's so sweet. Well, I was I was going to say that last night I was talking to this woman, Juliana, and I was talking about Martin Luther King, and I said, I that's that's my mentor, like that's someone that I look up to, and and I was like, that's something that will be part of the probably part of the center as well. So I appreciate that uh, reflection back. Cause I'm just like, yeah, I feel that. That makes sense. Yes. Yes. Um, 
and uh, they know that um, if um, if this center was was gifted, and it definitely is gifted, it's a blessing. If this was gifted to somebody who was not a hundred percent in service, then they would use it to uh, for their ego purposes, or that they would use it uh, for you know for uh, specifically monetary gain um, at the, um, at the, you know, the destruction of all other things. Um, but, uh, they said they gifted it to you because you are a, you are a beautiful servant, uh, to God's word. And, uh, and it's just, it's just pure service that you step up, uh, to be, uh, to be devoted to God. So let's go to the cards now and see what comes out. Well, the first card for you is the King of Pentacles. Uh, the King of Pentacles, now this is you in a position where you will easily bring the funding to you. And they're saying, God would not have given you this center for it to go nowhere. They're saying, mm -hmm. they're saying that the funding will be there, but you need to drop all fears on how this is going to happen and just open up to the miracles um, this is this is uh, King David, you know, sitting on his throne <laughs> and just just allowing right. that just allowing that abundance to flow in for you. And oh, my gosh, the center is just going to be such a beautiful success. You got the world card next. And the world card is about the ending of something and the beginning of something. And this is the beginning of of a beautiful adventure and journey of you being that spiritual leader in that beautiful center. And the next card for mm. you is the four of pentacles and the four of pentacles can sometimes be around holding on to money too tightly. Um, and they're saying, um, please open yourselves up to receive in all kinds of ways. Um, and then you will, your center will grow. Um, it'll grow exponentially. Um, as to how much you are open to receive. Um, so it's a beautiful center, David, and, uh, and all will be revealed in this coming year. Uh, strap on, get ready for the, uh, the roller coaster ride. And they're saying, because you deserve it, which is so sweet. So I hope that's been helpful. Yeah, very helpful. Thank you. You're very welcome. Well, you have an absolutely beautiful day. You too. Thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. Okay. Take care. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. And those two callers, um, they definitely uh, have walked the walk. You know, there are many out there, light workers, and, you know, if you want to call yourself a light worker or a, whatever you want to, whatever title you want to choose to hold, those of us who consciously have, uh, have held our, um, our light for, uh, the ascension of the planet. Um, you know, we, we have diligently been of service and now we will reap the rewards like Beth, like David, and we will see those manifestations easily happening um, for us. So let's go to our next caller. Next caller is Ashley. You're on the line with Claire Candy Hoff, the Posse of Angels on Transformation Talk Radio. How are you today? Hi, Candy. I'm good. How are you? I'm really, really well. Do you find that you're cooking up the fulfillment of your desires? Yes, I don't always know what I'm cooking, but I think something's definitely cooking. <laughs> it's definitely there simmering on the stove. You're not yes. sure. Not sure yes. what. And that's actually a very good a good point. I thought to myself, because I imagined a huge pot that's simmering away, and we're not sure uh, what that, what that uh, um, final outcome is going to be you know, as we place it on the table mm -hmm. and we're not sure when mm -hmm. the timer is going to go off, when it's going to be done, but we do know that it's simmering. Um, and it's, it, it's just mm -hmm. cooking and, uh, and all we have to be is just attentive to, uh, 
to taking inspired action and just being in excitement about it. So what is your question today? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, <clears throat> it's interesting what you talked about at the beginning of the show with, um, with the pot because I'm, a, I'm at somewhat of a crossroads right now, but I feel like I am a lot of the time. Um, and I had been working in a field for a while and then I had to, um, come back home to help with things. And, uh, I realized that I, I need to, I need to be here more than I was, but I also realized that I need to be pursuing creative efforts also. So I'm trying to balance that. And I just, uh, would like to know what they would they have next for me? Because I do feel like when I get that uh, intuitive impulse, I I very much follow it. But when right. I when I don't get that, I'm kind of sometimes at a loss of what to do. So that's yeah. what I'm dealing with right now. Well, you know what they're saying is you're too psychic by half. And what that means is, you know, you're so telepathic and they're saying you're so psychic that, um, you know, y you want to know what's what's coming up. And when there is a lull or when it, when it's not quite time for that, um, then we feel um and we feel disappointed in a way, or we feel like we should be able to figure this out. Um, but they're also saying that, um, um, have you had the urge to travel? Have you had the urge to, to, uh, seek out, um, other places in the, in 2017? Well, the interesting thing about it is that I realized because as I was, I was I was in the other part of the country and being away from my family and stuff was was starting to have like significant energetic and almost physical symptoms like I was extremely anxious so I needed right. to come back here to fulfill myself but I also know that um this you know being with my family cannot be my only pursuit Right. So uh, I do, I have had that impulse to, to travel, um, but I also know that, um, you know, it's like asking me if I need air and food, like I need both. So, mm -hmm. but I right. have had that, um, that, yes, I have had that impulse. Okay. So the, what they want you to do is they want you to actually say to your posse of angels, um, they want you to say, I am ready for my next step and I'm open okay. to receive and I'm open to receive uh, the limitless possibilities on the way that this has come in because they're saying really up until now, uh, you haven't been a hundred percent sure you, you have gotten mm -hmm. this little bit of an impulse. You've gotten this inkling, but then you shut the door on that thinking, oh, but then I'll have to leave my family and I'll have to leave this, mm -hmm. you know, beautiful environment. But, you know, you can have both, um, meaning, mm -hmm. you know, uh, to travel, to have a job, you know, that, that takes you away from your, uh, from your family home. But that doesn't mean that you can't go back, um, and visit and mm -hmm. you can't spend time there. Um, so, Mm -hmm. uh, you can ask them to um, um, create that job for you that you don't have to compromise and you don't have to settle, mm -hmm. you know, so you can have uh, freelancing, you know, you can, you can do a job where you maybe do it three or four days a week and then you travel back for those three days or uh, there's just a myriad of ways that this can happen. And the more you just let the mm -hmm. angels and let God figure this out, just like um, that example of Suzanne, you know, she could only become a vet and then she didn't want to work with animals. So once you open up to receive in whatever way that God and the angels want this to happen, it should uh, it should start to bring in uh, different signs, you know, um, of different places um, and different opportunities mm -hmm. for you. Um, and this opening will make a huge difference in, uh, in yeah, you, I, I you seeing the movement. I think, 
Yeah, I think, yeah. Sorry, I think before I was probably cutting some things off because I was going, oh, you know, this is, this is not where I should be living or I should be elsewhere. And then when I was elsewhere, it was like, well, I should be back there. So it was always like a, um, a torn situation. So I think that you're absolutely correct. Okay, let's go to the cards and see what comes out. Well, the first card comes out for you is the Page of Wands. And this is about mm-hmm. once you open to receive, then the message is about things coming full circle for you and going to and 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 going um to those different horizons and making movement then those signs can show you how to move forward because you're open to receive them now um and that's a really good that's a really good card to start with because it just shows that once your heart is open then the messages can come in the next card is the 3 of cups it's the celebration it's the mm-hmm. celebration of oh my gosh how did this how did this land in my lap? You know, uh, whatever we wish for is immediately there on the etheric plane, but it is most of the time, it is we that blocks it from ever coming towards us mm. because we put so many conditions um, on it. And the next one is the, well, I'm not surprised, it's the travel card. It's the, it's the chariot. It's being recognized. Mm. It's being recognized for um, your abilities and your talents, and then people want to will want to bring you on board with their organization, or promote you, support you, or encourage you in uh, in fulfilling that intention in your heart because you've opened up for it. But uh, but I I do believe and I do feel that it will take you away from I'm just at, away from the city, yes, away from the state, yes away from uh, the East Coast? And they're saying yes. So, okay. uh, um, so definitely, this, this is a real turning point for you, Ash, you know, because when you open your heart, you watch what's going to come in and, uh, and then you're, you're going to be on your way and, and things will, they're showing me a very smooth road in front of you. So I hope that's been helpful. Very helpful. Thank you, Candy. Okay. Love you lots. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Isn't that wonderful? You know, it's uh, that that message that um, a lot of times, you know, people are asking and asking and asking for things. Whenever we ask for them something, because there's no lag time in heaven, um, it appears immediately on the etheric plane, and it is we that have to get out of our own way, release those expectations and attachments, and then it can then flow into us. Let's go to our next caller. We have Doug. Doug is on the line, 805. Doug, you're on the line with Claire Candy Hoff and Angel Healing House Radio and Transformation Radio. How are you today, Doug? I'm doing great, Candy, and how are you? I'm very, very well. Do you feel like uh, you um, have perfected your recipe for the fulfillment of your desires? Well, what I feel like is that I've been cooking for a long, long time, probably for a couple of armies or maybe more. And uh, I'm, I'm wondering if if all the cooking I've been doing in my primary business and, and my ancillary business are going to be coming to fruition in the way that uh, we intend. Okay. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, the posse of angels are saying, you, it's uh, the theme that has run through each one of the callers that I've received today. Uh, You have stepped up when spirit has called you. Um, They want you to draw your attention to all the people that you have helped. And they're saying, Douglas, you do not give yourself credit for all of the people that you've helped and and just loved along the way. And this love and this help that you've given others is is feeding those those dreams of yours, your businesses that go out to serve so many people. Um, and they will continue um, to bring you back a great deal of fruition, a great deal of financial security. And, and they're also saying, please don't be myopic. And that, that means please don't only put your attention on 
um, abundance coming in in this form. Open yourself up to receive in all kinds of ways, magical ways, miraculous ways. Um, and, uh, and then uh, a result of that is that your, your businesses will thrive even more extraordinarily because of this because of this abundance and this letting go of this expectation and attachment as to, uh, you know, this is the, the primary way that abundance needs to come into your life. Let's go to the cards and see what comes out. Um, <laughs> the first card is the four of pentacles, which is about holding on to money too tightly. Okay. Uh, this is, uh, you know, or an expectation of how it needs to come in. So they want you to be more open and more free flowing with, yes, you know, your businesses are very important and they are going to bring back uh, wonderful security, right, financial security for you. But they're saying here that open yourself up and let go of any restrictions as to how money needs to come into you. The second card that is coming to you is the travel card. Uh, they're saying, they're showing me you traveling overseas and they're saying that you will be looking for a house very soon. Um, they're saying that, uh, allow you, there's, oh, okay. They're saying, allow yourself to be led. Um, don't try to figure it out. Don't try to figure out, uh, what area you need to live in. They're saying, Ask the angels for the signs, and then they will send you the signs as to your house. And they're also saying that don't worry about it because they know, they've known what you've wanted in a home even before you knew you wanted it. So they're saying um, allow yourself to be led, and it's going to be the perfect, the absolute perfect site, the perfect area maybe the perfect neighbors even for you. Um, and it's just, a, you're going to be traveling to this, to this place and looking for a home there. Um, and the next card that's coming out for you is this three of wands. And this three of wands is seeing your ships come in. This is the year 2017 Doug, that your ships will come in and you just have to let go of any fear of it not happening or any restrictions around it. So um, it's going to be quite a roller coaster ride. So I hope that's been helpful for you. Very much. And thank you for doing all that you do with much love. <laughs> okay, you're welcome. I love you so much. Have a beautiful day. Take care. Thank bye bye. You. And everyone, thank you for our callers today. That just about wraps the show up for today. I want to thank my many listeners for tuning into the program. Thank you for those people that I've heard from who have referred the program, who have re recommended it to others. And uh, like I said at the top of the hour, if you have missed some of those um, shows, um, January shows and February shows, they are all archived on the, um, my host page on Angel Healing House Radio. If you'd like to receive my uplifting and enlightening Angel Healing House newsletter filled with channeled messages from myself and the Posse of Angels, please do send me your request to candy, C-A-N-D-Y at angelhealinghouse.com and to purchase a copy or copies of my inspirational books Angels of Faith, and One True Home Behind the Veil of Forgetfulness, and also my recently released autobiography entitled I Am an Angelic Walk-In, please go to the Angel Healing House website, which is angelhealinghouse.com. You can always book for your intuitive counseling sessions, Reiki healing sessions, angel readings, um, either in my Los Angeles office or nationally and internationally using distant healing, uh, and over phone or Skype. And you can call 831-277-3716. Or you can email me at candy at angelhealinghouse.com. Until next time, please allow your radiant light to shine forth and everyone go out and fashion an unbelievable life for yourself. Love and as always, angel blessings. And I'll speak with you again next week. Bye. Mm -hmm.